Hi my dear friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Anna and the Book Hunt. In today's video I'm going to talk about 10 books that I want to recommend to you that are all scorching hot when it comes to the sexual chemistry and sexual content within the books. I'm basically going to be talking about the steamiest reads that I had in 2023 and I'm going to recommend them to you if you really are in the mood to pick up a spicy book you can definitely pick any of these and you're not going to be disappointed in my opinion. I'm going to be a bit of a bumbling idiot and I'm going to be blushing a lot because I'm very bad at talking about spicy scenes. I kind of tend to not find words very well to descri describe how spicy or how steamy a book is. For me, um, some people like have skills for it and I just don't. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that in my opinion, all of these 10 books are really hot. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and talk about the books. The first one being Three Simple Rules by Nikki Sloan. I think that Nikki Sloan, at least in my opinion, she is the queen of spice. She is so amazingly talented at doing spicy scenes in a very original type of way. Um, I'm never bored when it comes to the sexual scenes or the, the, the steamy types of content that she has in her book. Sometimes when you have a lot of steamy scenes, it can get kind of boring and repetitive, but I never find that with her books. So I'm definitely recommending a couple of hers that I've read this year. The first one being Three Simple Rules. This one is kind of a very unorthodox kind of an office romance. We've got our heroine who works at this, I think marketing or advertising firm and she has this major project for which she needed to kind of print a lot of brochures and she made a very big mistake which will cost her a lot of money to fix and that's money that she doesn't have and she's on a deadline so she gets this opportunity to work at this bdsm club that is kind of like a a club where people can bid on her to spend time with her to fulfill sexual fantasies and it's kind of like a blindfold club and she has a very antagonistic relationship with her boss and when he finds out that she's going to be participating in this bidding situation he decides not on my watch i'm going to be the highest bidder here she's not going to be with any anyone else and that's where the fun within the book starts there are so many amazing scenes, so many amazing sex scenes within this book because obviously there is a BDSM club involved within the story. The BDSM club situation has been kind of going off rails <laughs> the past year or two because I find that a lot of books include such a trope. I don't know if it's a trope or kind of like a, a place situation. I don't know what to call it, but some of them kind of take it to a place where Hmm, I'm not sure that it, it's for me, Let, let's put it like that, but this one really worked very well for me. I found that it was meticulously done and I really loved it, so I definitely would recommend it. The next book up in my list is I Married a Lizard Man. This is by Regine Abel and I found that in this book the sexual chemistry between, between the characters is on a bit of another level because we've got two different species. This is a monster alien romance and the hero is a lizard man. So you can imagine that as the heroine is human, she never kind of imagined for herself that she's going to be um, sexually active with another type of species. And then he has exactly the same feelings. He never thought of himself as being with a human. So they explore their sexuality together. They kind of try to find out what does your species like and what does your species do and, and what is uh, a customary and what isn't. And I really found the discussion and the, the, the way that the author has taken so much detail into really the two species getting to know each other and respecting each other's boundaries. I really love that and it was still scorching hot. So I really, really love that <laughs> within the book. And I definitely would recommend it. It's kind of a short read. So if you're not in the mood for a very long read, you can definitely pick this one up and I recommend it with both hands. So at the start of this year, I read possibly the best series that I read this year, which is the Off Balance series by Lucia Franco. It's a five book interconnected story that follows the same couple, Rhea and Kova. Uh, she's a gymnast and she's quite young. There is a big age gap between them, so bear that in mind. There are trigger warnings for this book that you should definitely look up before picking it up. But 
there were so many hot, 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 hot scenes with this book or these books, essentially, and a lot of questionable decisions when it comes to their sex life. You definitely need to brace yourself for a lot of craziness when it comes to this couple. They have a lot of public displays of intimacy. <laughs> Let's call it like that. And there's a lot of unprotected sex. There's a lot of very questionable decisions, like I said before, but it's really scorching hot. And this couple is just made for each other. And I don't know if that's saying that in a good or a bad way, but they're just unhinged, both of them. And yeah, I definitely would recommend this one if you're looking for a hot, steamy time that takes you five books long <laughs> to discover their journey. And it's not only hot, it's also very emotional and very... <sighs> it's It's packed with a lot of things. It's not just the sex within this one. It's really a very good story to discover a sports romance like no other and I would definitely recommend it. We also need to talk about Miss Elsie Silver in this video because she has been writing some superb steamy scenes within her Chestnut Spring series. In this one I'm specifically going to talk about Reckless. We've got our hero and heroine Theo and Winter. They have a scorching hot sexual tension already from the start of the book even though she kind of antagonizes him. He is not deterred by her being a bitch. <laughs> He's like I'm going to have you forget everyone else you have ever been with and he kind of it, it kind of rings true <laughs> when she sleeps with him so it's kind of a scorching hot situation. I really love the chemistry between these two characters. If I have to pick the, the, the sexual chemistry between characters within the Chestnut Spring series, I'm kind of on the fence between Willa and Kate from Heartless and Theo and Winter from Reckless. Both of these couples have amazing sexual, sexual chemistry and sexual experiences together. But for this one, because we're talking about books that I read in 2023, I'm going to have to go with Reckless because Heartless I read in 2022. And yeah, Miss Elsie Silver knows her stuff when it comes to the sex scenes. I can't do a video that involves sexual tension, sexual chemistry, without mentioning Caught Up by Liz Tomford. I absolutely love that book and I love that the sexual chemistry literally starts at the start when they meet in this elevator. I don't know what it is about elevator scenes, but it's just something in the air when two people are in a confined space and the hormones are kind of going around between them. Something happens. I don't know what it is, but already from the start we know that there is a very big tension between these two characters and then there's a bit of a back and forth of banter between them because of certain things that I'm not going to describe here, but then slowly but surely everything unravels. It's a bit of a slow burn, but it's so, so, so worth it when it comes to that ultimate scene of them getting together. It's just so good. I absolutely loved it and I definitely would recommend it not only for the sexual tension or the chemistry that they have or the sex scenes within the book, but also for the emotional journey that they go on. This book is chef's kiss in my opinion. The next book on my list is another Nikki Sloan book. This one I actually loved more than Three Simple Rules, even though I really like Three Simple Rules. The frat boy is just on another level when it comes to the spice. This book is having two characters who are absolute nemesis of each other. They don't like each other, but they need to work together in the adult entertainment industry. So you can imagine how many hot spicy scenes there are in that book, but also how many original kind of scenes there are. So it's not really them going at it the whole time, but really um, exploring also their relationship of having them go from enemies to people who need to have this intimacy together to make it work for for their business basically so it's such an intriguing interesting and hot scorching hot read I definitely would recommend it if you're looking for a really spicy book but one with very good content besides the spice to it 
Next up, I'm going to mention a book that just recently released by Sierra Simone. The book is called Salt Kiss. This book is the full length novel um, from her new series, Lioness, and it involves again a sex club. The sex club, however, is a bit different. It's a sex club where the owner, he collects payment in secrets, not in money. So he's very influential, very powerful. And within that sex club, we see scenes going on between different characters, but within the relationships of the book, there is a trio that we're kind of following within this book. It's also a Tristan and Isolde retelling. So we've got one guy who is the bodyguard, we've got the hero who is the owner of the sex club and the heroine who is supposed to be married to the sex club owner but also falls into a relationship with the bodyguard. So it's a very interesting menage with a lot of hot scenes and Sierra Simone always does sex scenes in such an interesting way because within this book we've got a lot of religious content that is involved within the plot so it's very interestingly done and I really found that it was done with a lot of taste so I I really love that it's a bit different than the other books that I'm recommend recommending on this list so I definitely would love for you to check it out. The next books are just a steamy good time. I don't know how else to describe them the first one being Plie by A.H. Cunningham. This book also involves a BDSM club. Within this book, the hero and heroine, each of them is part of this BDSM club. She is a submissive, he is a dom, and he kind of needs to get trained to be a better dom, I think, because he's quite new to the role. And the heroine falls into the role of the submissive that needs to teach him because she has been doing that for a long time. And at the same time, they have a parallel situation that, because they don't know each other at the BDSM club, they're all covered up and stuff. Um, within real life, let's say, they also know each other as dance teacher to his kid and obviously father to a child that is attending this dance school. So they have a parallel situation going on and we've got a lot of sexual chemistry when it comes to them coming together outside of the BDSM club, not knowing that they actually also have this amazing chemistry when they're actually in the club. So this secret identity thing is creating for a lot of tension, a lot of good build up, and I really love this book and I would definitely recommend it. And then next up is a book that I also read recently. The book is Fucking Around by Emily Rath. It's a hockey why choose romance. I say a lot of times right now because I included this book in a lot of videos that it's not only strictly why choose, it's kind of polyamorous as well because two of the guys who are involved with the woman within the book also have a relationship with each other. And it's it's a steamy good time. I do have to say that there were a lot of sex scenes within the book. It's quite a long book. It's like 700 pages or so. And there is a sex scene with each of them separately. There is group play. There is a lot of, a lot of situations that involve sexy time. So if you're in for a good smutty long book, then this one is it for you. The last book I'm going to recommend is one that I recently read and it's very fittingly a Christmas novella. This one is so scorching hot, I don't even know how to find adjectives to describe it, but it's so freaking good. <laughs> the book is by Kayla Gross and it's called Trick Shot. It involves a woman and a man who get stranded at the airport because of a storm. They hit it off at this bar and she thinks that he's a very famous hockey player, but it's actually his identical twin that is at this bar, but he kind of lets her assume that it's the hockey player. So they hit it off and he proposes that she spends Christmas Eve with him. And he also explains that he is together with uh, his best friend on Christmas Eve. Um, and the best friend and the hero, they actually have been having sexual relationships together for a very long time, but they never really made it official as a couple. So this is a menage, so it's a threesome within the story and it's just piping hot. It's just, there are so many smutty scenes within this book that are so outrageously well done <laughs> that, I don't know, it's like porn on page and, but, but really good porn. I don't know how to, <laughs> to describe it in a different way, but yeah, 
it's a really good time really really good time i definitely would recommend this one if you're looking for a short spicy holiday novella these were the absolute sexiest books that I've read in 2023. Please let me know if you have any other books that I need to get on my radar when it comes to plot, but also hot within the books. And also let me know if you've read any of the books on my list and what you thought about them. Did you enjoy them? Were they too much for you? Were they too little for you? I don't know. Please let me know what you thought about them. And yeah, I hope to see you very soon in the next one. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Happy reading. Take care and bye-bye.